hello guys welcome back first thing first this video is only for educational purpose so please don't use this scripts or any of these tutorials for any illegal purpose so we are not responsible for any damage caused for you or is any third parties we are not responsible for this one please 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 this is my request okay first thing first i mentioned that okay what i'm going to do today i'm going to explain fishing tool this is called pi male fisher okay this is written by the guy is joining you can see that is a joining a rami 07 this is available on github is recently written in python so you have to use python 3 for this one so and there is some mis there is some uh mistaken parts in the script but i will explain you how to correct it so what it will do it will generate the template for your template for the facebook gmail snapchat instagram and it sent to the user to looks like it, they received it from those uh, companies to reset their passwords to check the login activity like that so what i i will explain i will demo that one uh, step by step how to do that okay but the first thing you need to i, I am mentioning here i am using this uh, i am using black arc with a kernel is 5.4.47 so you can that's why the black arc come default installation with the python 3 3.8 uh, that one so please uh, that's why i'm using directly is python command but if you are installing uh, if you are running on any python 2.7 please install python 3 and then you can execute the scripts to fish, send the fish mail this is for use education uh, this is only for education if you want to stress test any company or if you want to stress test anybody anyone's activity you can use it for legal activity to authorize by the third party otherwise don't use for any legal purpose so what you have to do you have to git clone i am using the git clone command to clone this repository from github okay here we go and this is a command so we have to use the that one so i am doing that one so download that one i already downloaded it it is i have downloaded it again into internal pymail feature so that's why i don't want to rename my old one so uh, i corrected some parts in the script so i will show you that one when i'm getting the error i am also shows that which way what you have to do that so i'm coming out from that path and i'm going back to cd5 fisher so if you see the directories this is the new one recently i downloaded this one when i did previously i downloaded these all but presently this one i downloaded then you have to change this normally this is the one i am removing that this is why whichever i downloaded just now so i am removing that one that's it i remove that one now so you will see the when you downloaded the license modules pymailpisher.py readme templates okay so you what you have to do run you have to make this one as a execute permission you need to give this one is execute permissions to this file mail fisher file otherwise you don't execute itself so i'm running python and then file mail fisher so you will see that when you enter that one it will ask you the options you see the who is the author proxy 07 and generated four options so you have to choose what option you want to so uh, first thing first you have to do option one to generate the phishing page so which one you you your uh, destination when the user enter click the link it will redirect it into your destination server so they you can capture those login details that's why we are generating the template and everything source so i'm generating the phishing page now so it will ask you which template you want to generate facebook template instagram twitter template snapchat linkedin template gmail discord or 00 web host template so in this one i am using instagram template okay if i enter the instagram it will ask you the target name 
so enter the target name that will be displayed in the template so if you target some person so you need to enter the target's person name so i'm entering ricky okay enter the target's instagram username so whatever the username or anything whatever the, i just want to mention again ricky here or you want to put ricky something some people use 2408 maybe something different different things they will mention that okay this is on enter target email so who is the target i am i created email account for this purpose so i am generate i am entering the target email is ricky 240817 at gmail.com okay this is a target who you targeting so sorry yeah gmail.com okay so enter your phishing web page url this is a web page url when the the page looks fun but when they're trying to click it it will open the different web page not insta whatever is not instagram not facebook not gmail so i'm just doing that test that test dot com this is not exists at the moment but i'm showing that how it will what the details you know so you see that here what is the error message we got here so i'm showing that why i'm getting error message so in a script what is this in a script there is a path you need to correct it to work make it work properly so this temp that templates you need to remove from page gen this is a page gen script you will generate the template so we have we going here and change this template path so this path is not exist so we're going to this page and change that line 22 here okay what i'm doing now now and it is in the modules and parsers and then instagram.py uh instagram.py so you will see that this is the line 22 is not exist this is looking for the path to generate this path so it's not there so instagram.py so i'm going to delete that path so this correct path is templates backslash uh, forward slash instagram dot template so once you correct it i open in nano but you can use any editor you want so here it is then i'm close saving control o then control x so i exit from there again i'm running the script again so generating again and we are generating instagram template here again so enter the target name is ricky so again instagram username ricky2408 yeah. enter the target email address whatever is i mentioned previously ricky240817 at gmail.com yeah and enter your phishing page test.com whatever it is a page you built it to get those details back to capture that one and press enter to continue so you see that it generated the template you you won't see the error here now so that's why i'm saying that you need to when you get the error so just correct it that but i hope the author will change that path soon uh, when you some if somebody trying to use it maybe if anybody notified him about that so maybe he will correct that in github uh, when you see this video maybe you won't get that error sometimes so thus i'm mentioning that if you're doing that immediately then you need to send that template to the email address yeah so enter two so you already got templates so which smtp servers you using this is the first sender whoever you are doing that so i am using outlook here i am doing from outlook to gmail okay so what is that outlook is i am doing two so enter the sender's email address that is my sender email address Ricky, this is I created for test purpose 240817 at outlook.com. So, and password your password to authenticate on Outlook and then receivers who is going to receive this template. So, I mentioned that is a Ricky 240817 at gmail.com. So, we are doing this from outlook sender to gmail so i'm doing cross uh, provider so you 
maybe you will you have you can send from same service provider or anybody but i'm just showing that if somebody complain that oh if it's cross provider it doesn't work that's why i'm using cross providers outlook and gmail mostly use email address so what do you want to put as subject oh please verify or uh, can you please confirm the location like that or oh your account is locked reset password so that type of things just i'm mentioning just please verify yeah so what template we are using here instagram so if you want to run this instagram again i mentioned that you need to edit the path and senders.py file but i am using here snapchat so you will see that uh, instagram will work so yeah i need to correct the script again and again but i did the snapshot previously during the test so i am doing that four sorry it's a double four i entered wrong so i need to go again so i'm sending for test i'm using outlook yeah sender's email is ricky at outlook.com see you then and enter receiver's email key two four zero eight one seven at gmail.com and subject please verify login yeah so this is a, so i'm using for snapchat template yeah sending email you see that this mail the template is already created previously so it is gone so press any two to continue so this again is coming back to the same position if you want to see any four example about five mail picture three you will easily bug self if you are find any bugs please send him a mail or you can send him a message on twitter so this is education purpose only please don't use okay i created that and i send the mail so here is my gmail account so we will see that here so where is my email i'm just checking that okay i'm still not received it okay maybe take some time it needs to go through lots of scans and everything i hope you will see that soon uh we'll see sometimes this goes to spams or maybe anywhere so please this is the way normally you will receive the mail it takes some time uh, last time it takes after two to three minutes or five minutes sometimes so i will refresh this page old page so we'll see does it get or not or still not we didn't get it so this is a but make sure correct it everything whatever this is if you want to test for your education purpose if you want to stress test if you want to verify the some companies will use to test the employees they will test themselves to internally to test their employees how they're reacting when they're receiving the phishing emails did they clicking the link or they, are they notifying that links so that that the way uh, you that's the way you can use this uh, script to stress test it so other than that please don't use any legal purpose so uh, if you want to edit the scripts go to this um, no no sorry and you will see that there is a script lot of uh, template scripts uh, sorry you know modules and uh, there is a uh, scripts you can see that pa uh, some script is page and some scripts in uh, smtp servers also if you are using any other smtps like out uh, yahoo or anything you need to go to smtp servers and to you need to change the path on smtp servers also i am going into mail gen so which is a uh, character previously so mail gen so sorry is not here is an is an, is an um, parser sorry is an parser we previously changed yes so cd parser hmm. cd modules p process so you will see the scripts if you want to change it you see the instagram gmail 
and you need to edit those things first then you can use them uh, otherwise you can't use straight away if you see that you will see there's some parts here to edit those parts i'll show you that uh, here it is again in gmail there is a temp plots you need to delete these ones otherwise you will get the errors so do that and use your scripts for only education purpose not illegal purpose again again i'm mentioning that this is illegal okay we will check that is okay do we get it or not oh still yeah, i haven't got i mentioned i said that it, i received this mail after a long time normally you will get like this hi ricky just logged in please linux this is a from location this is a blah blah so please click here to support your change your password and this is a suspicious link but gmail will gmail will says that if it is a suspicious link, you see that i didn't mention anything so that's why so it will if you want to stress test you want to put any server website link so they will come there and is again you put in a snapshot template you can mention that when you're sending the mail you can mention that which ip address they have to use also so it will go from that website look it's gone it looked nearly three minutes four minutes to get this mail so hi ricky blah blah everything again same blah blah 3 30 and everything the time whichever it is we mentioned in the template okay that's it for this short video today come please subscribe for everyday tricks on ethical hacking and everyday trips on scripts and and some of network things please subscribe and comment if anything needs to change or anything needs to improve thank you very much for your subscription thank you bye